Indeed. So Jan and I are here to present our project Govern Directory, which aims to be the easiest way to contact your government. And sort of the, the main question is, how do you try to find uh, uh, contact information to your uh, government? How What's the way to take contact? If you have a question like, which were the countries Norway exported war materials to in 2019? Yeah, or another example of a question like that would be, who were the largest CO2 emitters in Sweden? So how, who do you ask this question to? And when and where do you do it? And that's where we come in. Uh, we want to get your voice heard. This is the easiest way to contact your government. And when we started this journey, we kind of needed to design on the target group or prioritize beyond the groups we had. And we decided that the target group would be the a active citizen or the activist, we might know them. Not. It might be young people protesting for climate change or people interested in how countries export war materials and so on. And we also found that when we had all this data presented, there are also other target groups that might be interested in this, like journalists or data journalists. But we try to focus on the activist is our main target uh, user for it. So our solution to this is a crowdsourced and fact-checked directory of official government online accounts and services, uh, built on top of Wikidata and co-curated by the Wikimedia community. And this is, for now, the place to start conversations. It's where you take the first step, uh, where you find your government agency uh, who you want to contact about your issue, or if you want to make them uh, public, uh, contact them online and put some pressure on them, or you can just uh, contact them by mail or, or phone. And very early in this project, we decided for a vision, and that is, a world where people are empowered to engage with the government to ensure responsive, reps, inclusive, participatory, representative decision making at all levels. And that is directly and actually partly quoted from the Sustainable Development Goals, and in particular, Goal 16 about peace, justice, and strong institutions. And the features that the Gov Director have is it gives you a basic uh, information for context, so you know in where this is in the hierarchy. It will list all the online accounts and services that you can find. You can search in two different ways. Either you can go in by topic or you can do it by country. And we have provided a way to give some feedback or suggest improvements. And all the data is in Wikidata. It's community curated. Anyone can edit it. And with that, let's see if the uh, the live demo will uh, work. Uh, it is live on govdirector.org, so you don't really need to sit and wait for us, but I'll, I'll show you around here uh, how it looks. So I, this is the web page as it looks. You can see we have the countries and topics like we talked about. and. Well, actually, borrowed the yes, the questions here as well. And for now, we have eight different countries' data being pulled online. We do some sort of quality assessment before we actually put it on the website. Uh, not all the countries have all the data right now. So let's take the question about uh, war materials. And for instance, if you will, would want to look at United Kingdom, uh, right now, we only have the departments, but that might be the Minister of Defense uh, being responsible for that question. So you can check out. And all this data comes from Wikidata. We see the official website. There's no phone number right now, but we see who's leading this. This is probably the minister. Uh, you have a link to Wikipedia, an uh, edit button that leads to Wikidata. And they're available on two different platforms, Twitter and YouTube, so that if you want to go online and talk to them. And then if you were thinking about the other question that we talked about, the uh, carbon dioxide, well, then you would head into the topics, perhaps, because you remember the flower and the environmental protection. 
These are the categories from the United Nations Statistics Division, so it's nothing we came up with. Uh, and for Sweden, then, you would see, well, yes, probably the Environmental Protection Agency. So you click your way in there, and a little bit more information for them. You see the parent organization. There is a phone number if you want to call the. Uh, there's also their main regulatory text. They have an email and seem to be quite an online agency. So you can choose where you want to go. Maybe you even can find some raw data in their GitHub directory. Who knows? And I think, yeah, so each country is right now. You can click around. And yeah, let's perhaps head back to the presentation here. So quickly about me and John, who for the last three months have been working on this project during the Unlock Accelerator. So we are two open knowledge enthusiasts with a bit of roots in the Wikimedia movement. Uh, we have both been working for public organizations, both at the national level as well as the European level. And yeah. And What's the competition that we have? Well, <laughs> we wish there wouldn't be a need for GovDirector. We wish this was already available everywhere. Unfortunately, only a few countries have anything similar to this, but the most don't at all. Uh, so until there's something else available, we will be here for them. So we don't see any real competition for on a global level right now. And, and, and as I mentioned previously, we have been doing this during Unlock. We actually, we had a bit of an ID, but it has changed during time, mainly because we very early settled for a vision, which we previously presented. And based on that vision, the project has rather formed around that, rather than us having the technical idea about using Wikidata for a project like this. So it has kind of gone beyond Wikidata and rather be about the citizen rather than the data itself. We also very early started with a technical prototype as well as with a bit of community work, which now has led to that we have these eight countries online. So as Alvin said, eight countries and in right now it's almost 2000 agencies and almost 5000 contact points. With contact points, we mean uh, one email address or a Twitter account or something like that. Each of those are a contact point. So in on average, there's a little bit more than two per each <laughs> right now. But that's also because there's a lot of work to do to add these kind of contact points. It hasn't been the main priority from the Wikidata community so far to add the social media for agencies. So but even there are lots of opportunity to do it. And this project is not only built on top of Wikidata, but it's also built by community and it's open source. The data that comes from Wikidata is of course under CC0, which is all the data, but the actual source code is also under CC0. And we try to make the community as open as possible. It's both on GitHub as well as on Wikimedia itself or on Wikidata. And we hope that anyone can join and edit if they want to. And we have seen quite a lot of edits so far to, to our data set that we have uh, uh, monitored. There's almost 2,000 edits to the code of around 150. And over 150 editors were poking on this data in September, which doesn't necessarily mean they know about our project, but they were still uh, contributing to it so that we uh, can show things in in the platform. So currently, this is a part which we have been working on for the last three months, and we have been very supported by uh, Wikimedia Deutschland here and the Unlock Accelerator. But for now, it's rather sustainable. It's currently hosted for free on GitHub, but we're investigating moving it to a bit of a more, more Wikimedia-centered servers. Uh, the analytics, we have super privacy friendly analytics. Everything we collect is even public, and that's provided by Wikimedia Sweden to us. And it's was initially supported by the Unlock Accelerator, as we have been mentioning throughout. And thinking about the, the future and the outlook, we see several different uh, packages we can add on. 
uh, as Alvin said, the sustainability for itself is kind of good, uh, but we're thinking about something like we can add on more a uh, helping hand, a guide to the citizen who is doing this. How do you write a freedom of information request and how, how do you question for um, like what, what, are, what are possible questions that you can ask for your government? And that could be one package. And another one could be empowering our editing community, giving them more powerful tool to both add data and monitor it because we want this to be high quality. And we want to double down a little bit on that. We want this to be open, open source and free to use and community driven. And in particular, John and I doesn't see ourselves as owner of this product. We have merely facilitated it in its beginning and we do not claim any ownership or such over it. And I guess that's it for now. You can go explore at govdirectory.org or you can contact us uh, on the details you see here below. We're on the web. And we also have a few minutes for you to ask uh, questions now in the chat, if you like to, before we start the second round.